All right, let's check out what is beyond the Dragon's Pit Terminus then. It looks like it might just be a regular area or no, maybe not. First off, stay calm. Is it an actual dragon fight? <laughs> maybe it's an actual dragon fight. Okay. Try horseback battle. I want to go home and then edge. God damn it. We can horseback here. Okay. Okay. Foot of the Jagged Peak. Well, yep, I can see that. The red sky, very Kaelid-esque. So whereabouts are we on the map? Ah, oh, yes, perfect, perfect. This is a, this is literally where we were hoping to get to. Because that's where the dragon is. I guess it's just his tail. I guess it's just his tail that looked like it was snake-like. And then that. To the, so, okay, so to the left is around the actual peak itself. So we don't want to do that. We want to go to the right. There is a dragon down there. Is there multiple dragons down there? Okay, so it looks like we may not have a choice about going forward to begin with. Yeah, I think this is pretty... Pretty much just you have to go this way. Where am I looking at down there? Oh, this is... Okay, I don't, I don't think you can go down there. This little gap bit feels pretty... Like there isn't anything at the bottom. may of course be wrong. We haven't been to this bit, have we? That's where that fire guy is. Is down here. And we haven't actually got there. I wonder how you get there. Looks like that raised bit you might be able to just drop off. No, I think that's too high. Hmm. Because we've been through here. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, no, wait. I have been there, haven't I? Oh, no, yeah. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I came out through the river. Yeah, I had to avoid him. I had to avoid him, and then I came through. Yeah, no, no, no. Okay, I got my bearings now. I got my bearings. Um... Didn't I just see an item that I was meaning to pick up? Maybe not. Bale, O Terra Incarnate. Again, I stand afore ye. Is that Dragon Bale? First off, dragon, therefore time for ranged battle. I mean, what happens if I try and do a little bit of this from here? Oh my god, that has so much health. <laughs> Jagged Peak Drake. Knocked him down. Stop fucking getting caught on the edge of that fucking tree. God damn it. Lock on, 
Okay, well, that is all we can do magic-wise. You can definitely cheese him if you have more flasks, but I do not have more flasks. Oh, okay. Sorry about that, lad. So I guess we're doing the rest manually. Hello. Over here, buddy. Very cool. Love that. <laughs> Big fan of that. Huge. Love to just get obliterated instantly. Well, uh, if I just go ahead and do a little bit of this, we don't have any of those to do, do we? No. Imagine if we did. <laughs> Imagine if I'd just forgotten all this time. Let's just cheese the fuck out of him, I guess. Why wouldn't we? It seems like he's... Pretty similar to the other dragon we fought, just a little bit more damaging maybe, I don't know. There we go.
you hit me. Well done. <laughs> Great enemy. <laughs> dragon heart, dragon scale, flesh. Apparently the flesh is new. Uh, boosts vigor, stamina, strength, and dex at the cost of gradual HP loss. A lump of hot flesh carved from beneath the inverted scales said to grow on aged dragons. When ingested as is, boosts all that stuff. To the Drake warriors, there is no more intoxicating liquor than the heat of dragons. Is there anything over this side that I should pay attention to? Where am I? What's that castle? What castle am I looking at right there? That is going to be whatever's up here, I guess, maybe? Oh, no, that's too far away. This is, like, directly. It's, like, here, isn't it? Well, maybe it's not too far away. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe. Okay, so uh, we can go left, which is that way. We can go right down here. Let's go right down here. It seems more dead endy because it's towards an area we've already explored, just not this upper bit of it. So, hello. I shouldn't have provoked the sheep. <laughs> I shouldn't have provoked the sheep. <laughs> oh, why did I provoke the sheep? It was just minding its own business. I should have just, you know, lived and let live. <laughs> my bad, my guy. I will just ride past you this time. Mobby, Mobby. Bomb, bomb, bomb. Can I actually, like, can I do anything with this? It looks like I could collect this or something. Oh, actually, yes, I can. Ha ha. Sharp gravel stone. Found at the jagged peak on the south coast. The scale of an ancient dragon that has sucked on the blood of lesser dragons. That's cool. You can actually harvest them like it's fucking Monster Hunter. <laughs> harvest their corpse after you're done. I like that. It just stood out to me. I was like, can I? And the game said, yes, you can. Alright. Hello, Mr. Sheep. I am just here to chill. Don't mind me. Literally never had any beef with you. I had lamb with you. Got it. Got it. Good. Howdy. Well, you're clearly getting up, aren't you? 
Okay, so if we'd have carried on the low path, we'd be down there. But is this just going to join up? It looks like it might just join up. Wow. Yeah, it joins up. Well, there is the big boy. Anything hiding around here? I don't love that purple thing over there. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that purple thing spawns a boss. Red Fulgur Bloom. Flower that crackles with red lightning. Said to bloom where the red lightning of ancient dragons strikes the earth. Now I am worried about... Uh, souls. Because we are once again at about a level's worth of souls. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure that that purple thing, as I walk towards it, a boss will proceed to walk out of it, right? So much though it pains me, we should probably go and level first. Okay! Okay! Wrong one! up here. Okay, let's go level. I was not expecting another boss straight away, but it is what it is. Okay, how much more do I need? I need another uh, 14k. Okay. 14k. Well, 12,500 is one. And then 1,500. Pump up that stam. Cool. God damn it. Okay. Once more. Oh! <laughs> I need to reallocate my flasks. Once more onto the breach after I do that. Don't. Let's see what nasty fucker comes walking out of there. Actually, let's read these messages. Seeing as they're pointing at it, what's it going to say? Let there be monstrosity. Okay, maybe they're just pointing at this. Great, wait, grace ahead? What? Is there? Igon's cookbook. Record of crafting techniques left by a warrior who challenged the vile dragon Bale, only to be grievously injured and broken by fear. Is this the guy we found on the road outside? Contains detail on how a mere mortal can fell a mighty dragon. I feel like that's the guy we met on the road outside. Maybe. 
Where's this grace ahead them? Oh no, there literally is. There lit Wait, there's a grace right next to the purple thing? Is a monster not going to spawn out the purple thing? Huh. I'm pointing right at that. It's down there? It's not part of this? Okay. So I can get down here somehow. Huh. Well, if I'd have just stepped a few fucking steps forward, then I'd have seen it, but... Grand Altar of Dragon Communion. Praise the bravery. Is there really some... Okay. There really isn't something walking out of this like a boss. Well, that's my bad then. I really thought that something was going to come walking out this fire. What's this place called? Grand Altar of Dragon Communion. Wow, who'd have thought it? Hello. Warrior troop. Picture yourself. Feasting upon a dragon's essence. On the throbbing heart of the old, violence dragon of them all. It would be the purest form of communion, the fullest sating of your hunger and your consummation as a dragon whole. Uh, I don't think so, right? Perhaps you have yet to feel true one. I am patient. There will come a day when hunger not. I do want to see what she's talking about, but that feels like a big choice. I don't know. That feels like a do you want to align with these dragon people kind of choice. It might not be, but we also heard in the base game that you don't want to partake of dragon stuff. Like, that's going to go very badly for you if you try and do that, so... I don't know. I love that you can actually walk on his fucking body and shit like this. This is very cool. And then... Down there is where we've been, I think. Or no. No, we haven't been down here. But we're close to where we've been. Any secrets or anything to find? Ooh. Charo's hidden grave? What the fuck? Again, it's just gorgeous. The red this time of the flowers instead of blue. Okay, well, before I explore his hidden grave... Okay, so this is the beach I've explored already. I can't open the map, but... Yeah, yeah, this is the beach I've explored already, okay. Let's just make sure we haven't missed anything before we go into that area. Was there anything else left to see? Because I didn't actually explore, like, all the way over his corpse. Can I, like, get up to the very top of his corpse or anything? Doesn't seem like that's likely to happen. Probably not. I think, I think his corpse is just a transitional point rather than a uh, explorable point of its own. All right, let's keep going then. 
Who is Charo and why is his grave hidden? Oh, hey, there's a little uh, boater dude. I remember the boater dudes. I can't remember what they dropped. They dropped something. They definitely dropped something. Dog. Gravekeeper's cookbook. Polter stone. Gravekeepers who watch over those who rest in the realm of shadow. Hello, buddy. I don't remember why I need to kill you, but I remember that I do need to kill you, so let's kill you. Fuck. Oh god, I forgot about those hand motherfuckers. I hate those hand motherfuckers. I despise those hand motherfuckers. God damn! Holy fuck a moly! Just, just annihilated! Okay, well we're definitely, we're definitely pulling out the old mimic here. Definitely not interested in trying to fight something that I fought a hundred times in the base game again when I could just make it easier I will happily give plenty of tries to new things without Mimic I will not give plenty of tries to things I've killed a hundred times already I will merrily pull out Mimic for those God, I forgot how awful those hand monsters were. Or I guess I should say arm monsters. Hand monsters are a separate thing that exists in the game. And are also terrible. Now, do you always fuck off up there instantly? Looks like yes. Okay. So let's do this and then let's summon the boy. Ding a ling. Not despawn? Okay, you do. Tibia's cookbook. A record keeper record of crafting techniques of the mariners, the oldest of gravekeepers. Call of Tibia. Sure. Secret. Sag. Was that all they dropped in the base game too? It was just, uh... Just the old cookbooks? Was that it? I remember feeling like they were important, but... Which I guess they are, I just... I never craft. I'm, I'm not much of a crafter. My hot take is that crafting sucks in every game ever. There's probably some games that I would call exceptions, I guess, but... Whenever I hear a, graf a game has crafting in it, my immediate instinctive response is, uh, really? Okay, so we can get down this way, you just can't get up. I, I literally just, when a game has crafting in it, I'm just like, eh, do I even want to play the game then? <laughs> Which is weird, because it's like, well, sometimes it's completely ignorable, like Elden Ring, which is great. I, I think I maybe crafted, like, t a couple of times to make, like, the Scarlet Rock fucking protective things in the base game or something, but for the most part, I entirely ignored it.
or when it's like just fairly simple. But I, I, I think it's because it adds when it when crafting is made a big part of the game. It necessarily adds a whole lot of menuing to the game because you're probably going to be in menus to do the crafting. And I hate fucking being in menus. My biggest wish when I'm in a menu is for it to be over so I can get out the menu. <laughs> I, I just want to be in the game, you know. Ghost Flame Bloom. Blossoms in the hidden grave of Charo. Of a pair with a nut- Hello. Of a pair with another gravesite flower, the grave violet. All but incorporeal, it burns without so much as a, as a sound. Love wart. <laughs> Gravekeeper's brain pan? What? Boatsman and continue to summon the dead even after withering away. Oh no! <laughs> hey guys, I found the Abyssal Woods. <laughs> Love to find the Abyssal Woods. I guess you can go down there? I can't believe I found that by fucking falling off the edge. That's crazy. Okay, so this is an actual place you can get to somehow. The Abyssal Woods. Never mind. I looked over the edge and I was like, nah, there's no way. There's no way you can get down there. But my location changed as I fell to my death, so... I guess I was wrong. That is quite funny. I was just trying to fucking... I was mashing B to get out the menu and it turns out... <laughs> fun fact about Torrent... But if you press B when you're on torrent, you do a little dash forwards. And uh, turns out, if you do a little dash forwards at the edge of a cliff, you go off the cliff. So I probably shouldn't have been mashing B. That would be stupid. Okay, so you can get down. But how? Guess I'll keep an eye out for any cliff drops or anything. Mayhaps. Can you drop onto his wing and like walk down or something? No. Well, maybe. The wing doesn't go any lower. The wing just sort of... I don't think the wing leads to a path. It might do. Do I want to risk it? How much did I even have? Oh. Nothing. 10k. Who gives a fuck about 10k? Well, let's just see if this is a thing. Whatever. Can we get anywhere from here? There's an item. The Dragon Communion Harpoon. Okay. Has anti-dragon effect. A tool of the old Dragon Communion warriors who were the ancients of who were the agents of the ancient dragon's hatred for their low-born descendants. Oh. Bit of uh, infighting within the dragons. If only I had a bow, yeah, <laughs> just ping him from over here. Is this a path?
Oh, a harp is a harpoon a one-time thing? I thought it was an actual weapon. Um, how badly do we want to know what that message says? <laughs> Try jumping. Oh, yeah. Surely that'll go well. Oh, man, that is actually pretty close. Like, could I survive jumping out down there? I don't know, man. Like, I think maybe? Maybe not. Like, if I look there, it doesn't look like it's that far away, right? That looks like maybe survivable. But then if I do it like that and see how different... Oh, no, that's... Is that a different layer? Fuck it, we ball... Oh my god, you can. Okay. Okay. Huge. Oh god, not these things. Not more of these things. Very pretty. Um, which way first? This seems to be... Oh god, I just noticed the one on the wall. Ugh. This seems to be leading downwards, so let's see if there's like a dead end this way first. Oh, hello, there's a building. Howdy. The Finger Weaver's ho Hovel. Aha, my theory is proven true. The Finger Creepers hail from these ruins. So now must I sound this one hanging bell, and sweetly cradled shall I come to be, at the bosom of the exalted mother. Glinting nail. Wait, what was the rest of the description? A determined student of the finger ruins, his brush, his brush with the sublime all but shattered his mind, though he was left capable enough to leave these few precious words. The finger creepers hail from these ruins. One hanging bell. Is the one hanging bell the thing in the center? Was I supposed to hit the bell? I wonder if I was supposed to fucking hit the thing that was hanging down in the middle. I thought I needed... I thought I'd need a talisman or something to... do to interact with it, but maybe I was just supposed to hit it and I didn't realize? I didn't realize it was supposed to be a bell? What is that? It's a furry friend. Should I go back to those ruins and ding that? Because I don't think I ever actually tried to hit it. I don't know why. I guess I should have considered that. Because that... That makes it sound like that's how you interact with it, is it it's a bell and you ring it. But I was thinking I needed to interact, and so I didn't I just thought I couldn't do it yet. Hmm. Okay, so that seems like it is definitely a dead end then, yeah. So let's go down here. Let's not fucking get fucked by the guy on the wall. Let's just keep on moving. 
Keep on moving. Is this taking me down to... Fuck off. Wait. Is this... God damn, I didn't explore this very well if there was this whole other way that I didn't even notice. It is literally another path here. God damn it. I guess I never came around to the back. I was sure that there wasn't anything else left to see. And so I never went around there. Huh. Here was me thinking I'd found something secret, and it's actually something I should have found a couple of parts ago. <laughs> well, while we're here then, let's go ring the bell. See if anything happens. Nothing. Nothing. Nope. Okay. Well, we tried. So, now what? That turns out not to be the way down here then, unfortunately. So I guess it's back up here, and onwards through the next section. What was it called again? <laughs> I can't remember. On onwards through this section, and up the top of here, I guess. That is what we will be doing in the next part. That is it for today. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed. If you have, if you could leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Share the videos around, share the playlist around if you can. I would really appreciate that. And I'll see you next time for more Elden Ring Shadow of the Earth Tree. Thanks for watching. See you then.